Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's presentation, we will discuss what is the constant E. Before we continue, please visit my channel for more math lessons and tutorials. Thank you! Mathematics has many important constants. Among those constants is the number E, sometimes called the natural number. This constant is really amazing. Observe the graph of y equals e raised to x. Here, the value of y at any value of x, is equal to e raised to x. And, the slope of the tangent line to the curve, at any given point x, is equal to e raised to x. Also, the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis, from negative infinity up to any value of x, is equal to e raised to x. It's amazing to have all these properties in one natural number, e. The constant e was discovered in the early 18th century, by mathematician Leonard Euler. Euler was trying to solve a problem, first proposed by another mathematician, Jacob Bernoulli, half a century earlier. Bernoulli's problem was related to compound interest. Let's go over the formula for compound interest as a review. A is the amount you will get after the investment already earned interest. P is the principal amount at the start of the term. R is the rate of interest in decimal. M is the number of times interest is compounded per unit of time. T is the time in number of years. Suppose you put one peso in the bank, at a rate of 100%, and the bank compounds that money annually. After one year, you'd have twice the amount you invested. Now suppose the bank compounds the interest twice a year, M will be equals to 2 for semi-annually. In this case, you'd end up with 2.25 times your initial investment after one year. Let's keep going. Suppose the bank offered compounding the interest quarterly, the M will be equals to 4. You will have 2.441 times your initial investment after one year, I rounded off to three decimal places. If the bank offered compounding the interest monthly, the M will be equal to 12, you will have 2.613. If the bank offered compounding the interest weekly, the M will be equal to 52, you will have 2.693. If the bank offered compounding the interest daily, the M will be equal to 365, you will have 2.715. If the bank offered compounding the interest hourly, the M will be equal to 8760, you will have 2.718. So what happens if M gets really big? Say, as big as infinity? This is the question that Bernoulli was trying to answer. But it took 50 years for Euler to come along and solve it. It turns out the answer is the irrational number E, which is about 2.71828. Of course, E is more than just any number. It's one of the most useful mathematical constants. I hope I was able to give you an idea about the natural number E. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends. Have a nice day!